Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Bobby Fischer and Wolfgang Anzika. This game was played in Siegen in 1970. And let's go straight to the position of our interest. This is the position. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Different players would make a different move depending on their style. Someone like Nimcovic would give more support to the knight on g6. What would you do? Bobby Fischer decided to transpose to the knight and the bishop endgame by playing queen to e7. Queen takes queen, knight takes queen. Generally, bishops are stronger than knights if they are pawns on both sides of the board. In Fischer's opinion, the knight is a better piece than the bishop in this particular position. You can see that black king can't reach the center of the board that easily. So, Anzika played g5, intending king to g7. h takes on g5, h takes on g5. And now the black king can go to g7, but white has a protected passed pawn. The game continued. Knight to d5, attacking the pawn on c7. Bishop to c6. Let's take it back. How about c6, attacking the knight? Is that a good move? Then knight to f6, check. And when the king moves, Knight takes bishop back to our game. Bishop to c6, knight takes on c7, and now bishop to f3. Attacking the pawn, which is defending the pawn on f5. It looks like that black is doing well. Maybe. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Fischer played knight to e8, king to h6, why? Let's take it back. If bishop takes on g4, then knight to f6, check, wins the bishop. Just like that. Back to our game. That is why Anzika played king to h6 to avoid the fork. Knight to f6, defending the pawn on g4. King to g7, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? Instead of moving the knight, Fischer played king to f2. Black to move, bishop to d1. If king takes knight, then king takes bishop, and white wins easily. The white king would go to the queen side, while the black king must stay near the f pawn. Back to our game. Bishop to d1 was played. Knight to d7, attacking the pawn on c5. c4. White played the move and black resigned, and the move is. King to g3, and player with the black pieces resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Bishop to a4, attacking the knight. Knight to b6, attacking the pawn on c4. Defending. a4. Bishop to e8. If knight takes on c4, bishop takes on a4. a5. Bishop to f7, defending the pawn on c4. King to f3, king to f6. King to e4. If the black king moves, white would play king to e5. If something like bishop to g8, then check. After king to g7, king to e5. And after something like, what, king to h6, knight to e7, bishop to f7, king to f6, bishop to e8, knight to g8, check, king to h7, king to e7, bishop escapes to c6, and then f6. And I guess... We can stop here. Let's go back to our training position. 
This is the position. Can you win with white pieces on this position? Please click on the link below the video and test your endgame skills against the Terminator. Good luck! And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.